So, as opposed to other psychologists, I'm not an elitist. elitist. Anyone can come to the seminar and listen. Not everyone can receive a certificate. A certificate is reserved for professionals or people with practice. But anyone can come and listen. So, so I have no problem with that. Some knowledge of Marxism is helpful. But even that is not needed, because I'm going to start from zero and describe all the history of the concept and the various theories over the, over the years and so on. Then I'm going to teach the 25 proprietary techniques, techniques that are unique to code therapy, and the philosophy behind these techniques, because code therapy is the exact opposite of all other therapies. It uses principles that all other therapies um, consider wrong principles. But because all other therapies failed, I reached a conclusion that these principles are actually the right principles, logically. So I'm going to teach the techniques, I'm going to teach the philosophy behind the techniques. That is level one. Then we move on to level two and three. Level two and three is essentially practice. So case studies, uh, simulations in the class, and so on and so forth. But also expansion of narcissism into other mental health disorders which have a very strong component of narcissism, like borderline personality disorder and others. So giving the, the participants, the professionals among the participants, the tools to apply cold therapy actually wherever they think could help. Maybe they see a borderline patient who is clearly narcissistic, a narcissistic borderline. Maybe they would like to apply it there. Cold therapy also works very well with uh, major depression. So many therapists would not use it for narcissism. They would use it for major depression. The reason it works well with major depression is that major depression is also post-traumatic condition, mm -hmm. in effect. Cold therapy is a treatment for post-trauma. Happens, narcissism happens to be post-trauma. So it works. Depression is post-trauma, it works. Whatever is post-traumatic, mm -hmm. cold therapy should work. It's a tough discipline, because narcissists are tough cookies. They refuse to change. So we have to force them to change. So it's very, very much like a military boot camp. It's very challenging. And the narcissist goes through an extremely difficult period, uh, especially in level one. Uh, and then after the therapy for quite a long time, a few months, goes through a very di extremely difficult period. So what we do in cold therapy is very simple. We break the narcissist to pieces, absolutely to pieces, like Lego, and we put him back together differently. That is a painful process, very similar to surgery, but let's call it all, all, all soul surgery. Everything is under surgery in cold therapy. So that's more or less it. Whatever else, even if the, if the person attending the seminar has no intention to use cold therapy, it's exposure to a new way of considering therapy, new philosophy, new approach. Cold therapy borrows non-proprietary techniques, borrows techniques from close to 40 other therapies. In this sense, cold therapy is compendium of all the known therapies, in a way. It's like the mother of therapies, like a therapy that comprises all other therapies, plus 25 techniques unique to cold therapy. So even as introduction to psychotherapy, it's, you know, the seminar is a kind of introduction to psychotherapy. So I believe that people will benefit from attending, almost regardless of their motivation. As long as they have an interest in psychology, they will benefit. Because Cold therapy is the cutting edge. It's the latest in psychotherapy, the latest in our understanding of many, many topics in psychology. And provides hope for some problems which were considered intractable and untreatable. That's it. I think hope is worth the attendance. Egy utolsó kérdés. Meg lehet-e győzni a narcisztikust, hogy vegyen részt a terápiában? Milyen haszna származik a narcisztikusnak a cold terápiából? As a last question, do you think that there's any way how we can or anyone can convince a narcissistic to come and attend your um, seminar and then what kind of 
therapy, what kind of things that masters they could take it from there if they decide to come and attend? A narcissist would not attend this seminar, nor... Okay, so, that scares me, Kula. I, my 